So you want to start a Reiki business. Congratulations, you will fail. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing and I am excited and honored to tell you that if you want to start a Reiki business, yes, congratulations, you will fail. Fail. Now, before you give me a thumbs down, before you comment below how awful I am, let me explain. Failure is part of the process. Failure is part of the business process. And so when I say you will fail, I say that from experience. In my own Reiki business, I have failed again and again and again. And it does not mean that I am a bad Reiki business owner. It does not mean that I have no idea what I'm doing. It does not mean that I'm doing anything wrong. As a matter of fact, failing is right. It is right to fail in your Reiki business because failure means that you've tried something new. Failure means that you did something different. Failure means that something just didn't work out in the way that you expected or wanted it to. Welcome to business. This is an important part of business, an essential part of business, a core element of business. Trying things, failing, and trying again. Because that's what really matters. You will fail in your Reiki business. You're going to try new things and they're not gonna go as you expect or plan. You're going to offer a discount on your Reiki sessions and you're not gonna have anyone take you up on the discount. You're gonna offer a workshop and two people are gonna sign up. You're gonna run a class and eh, maybe people aren't so interested in that class after all. That's simply part of having a business, not only having a Reiki business. And so know that these failures are going to happen. Expect them to happen. They're part of the process. But it's what you do after the failure that matters. It's what you do after no one shows up for your workshop that matters. The question is, do you completely quit? Do you give up, say, I'm done with the Reiki business thing? Or... Do you try again? Try something different. Try something new. Use that information to grow as a Reiki business owner. That's what really matters. If you are doing it right, you're going to fail. If you are putting yourself out there, trying new things, making progress in your Reiki business, you're going to fail. It's part of being a Reiki business owner. But you are not a failure. Your Reiki business is not a failure. It's simply part of the process. So let's embrace our failures in our Reiki business. Let's get out there and fail, fail, fail. I'm excited for you and your Reiki business failures.